The Asus ZenBooks have always been kind of like the MacBooks of the Windows world. So when this arrived, the new Asus ZenBook S14 OLED, I checked it out, I checked out the specs and I was like, okay, this thing is absolutely packed. And no, I'm not talking about just the Core Ultra Series 2 processor. This is Rupesh, you're watching Silly Cause. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that bell icon. And this is one laptop you need to check out if you've always wanted an Intel-based Windows laptop with some crazy good battery life. But first of all, this design is absolutely insane. So this is an all-metal design and this is not your regular metal. The outer lid is made of Sen Aluminium, aka the love child of ceramic and aluminium. And this feels very nice, very pottery feel to it. And it also looks great with the whole Asus logo shining through. But more importantly, this makes the laptop more durable. The base is all aluminium and this whole design is military grade certified and this is actually solidly built. There's no flex here, there's no flex here so yeah solid plus the lid opens up with one hand and no matter how fast you open the lid there's no cheap wobble and the hinge is really solid now one thing to note the lid does not open 180 degrees which is strange considering this is a touch screen laptop but since there's no wobble using the touch screen is no problem at all anyway this is also crazy thin at 11.9 millimeters and weighs in 1.2 kgs only and i like how asus has managed to cram in all ports almost on the left, you get a full-size HDMI port, two Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports, and a 3.5mm combo jack. And on the right, you get fast USB-A ports. So yeah, you get all the features in this beautiful, sleek design. And talking about beautiful, let's take a look at this display. This is a 14-inch Asus Lumina OLED display with, wait for it, 3K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, 500 nits of peak brightness, touchscreen with stylus support, and a lot, lot more. Yeah, this is as flagship great as it gets, and it shows. The colors look vibrant, the blacks are deep, everything's sharp, movies and shows look fantastic, and the brightness is good. Plus, the dynamic 48 to 120Hz refresh rate means everything is super smooth, and yes, this display is as color accurate as you can get, and that makes it apt for, say, photo editing or color grading. Now, this screen is reflective, but other that I like that this has an ambient light sensor and a color temperature sensor to adjust brightness and colors depending on the surroundings. So the point is this is a flagship grade display, no doubts about that, but I know you want to know about the performance. So let's talk specs first up. So the new ZenBook S14 only is powered by the new Intel Lunar Lake chipset aka the Core Ultra Series 2 processor and let's face it, Intel has been feeling some heat from Qualcomm and Apple in terms of efficiency, so is this the answer that we've been looking for? Well this Intel Core Ultra 7 258V processor is a new custom design chip for thin and light laptops and the focus here is being as efficient as possible. I mean, this is based on the TSMC architecture, has 8 cores, including new P cores and E cores, 8 threads, the updated ARC 140V GPU, and the NPU is way more powerful, maxing out at 47 tops to get the Copilot Plus PC tag, and rounding out the performance is the fast Gen 4 SSD and LPDDR5X RAM. Now, I did run some benchmarks, and the SSD scores are pretty good, as you'd expect from a Gen 4 SSD, and as for the CPU, the single core scores are comparable to, say, the Apple M3 chipset on a MacBook Air or Snapdragon X Elite, but I did notice that the multi-core score is where it does fall behind a bit. Data path, these are the scores of the GPU and as for the NPU, it does power features like the Windows Studio FX, live captions, etc. With more coming in an update, but yeah, we're still waiting for more apps to support the NPU. Benchmarks apart, we face absolutely zero issues or lags in switching between tabs and windows while downloading something, playing HDR videos altogether. The performance is solid, even in something like Photoshop while editing a photo with multiple layers involved. We even played some CS2 to test out the upgraded GPU and the gameplay was good at 1080p and medium settings and the FPS is also very good, so yes, this can and handle some casual gaming. The cooling is also great. You get CNC machine cooling vents that increase airflow by up to 50%, a 0.7 mm thick vapor chamber, two exhaust vents under the lid for the two fans and the dual layer graphite sheet. And we didn't face any heating issues with the laptop even when the tests were being run. And generally CPU temperatures remained around 45, 55 degrees, which is great. Now that is all great, but remember I said that the new Lunar Lake chipset is all about efficiency. So this processor relies heavily on the e-cores and in fact stays on e-cores as much as possible. And that does not hamper day-to-day performance at all because these are decently powerful not your LP cores and this has a 72 watt battery pretty big for a thin and light laptop like this one and in heavy usage which involves a lot of benchmarking a lot of edge tabs notion slack things downloading from steam in the background continuous usage we got a battery life of around 10 hours which is really impressive for an Intel based Windows laptop now as for upgradability this is not the most upgradable laptop the 2284 lane SSD is replaceable but since the RAM is not part of the CPU package there's no way to upgrade it the performance part everything else about this laptop is as packed, as flagship grade as it gets. For example, you get four side firing speakers with two bass woofers and two treble tweeters tuned by Harman Kardon and these have Dolby Atmos support and I found them to be pretty loud, crisp when listening to vocals, definitely better than a lot of premium Windows laptops. The keyboard is also very good, this is non-slippery, 
already has three backlight levels and this is satisfying to type on thanks to the 1.1 millimeter key travel and the layout is pretty good yes the arrow keys are smaller but i like that they are all smaller and not just the up and down keys you also get the dedicated co-pilot button and you can press this to switch between different performance profiles the glass h2h touchpad is big and responsive i suppose the windows gestures while bringing some of its own i mean i can swipe along the left edge to change volume i can swipe along the right edge to change brightness yeah pretty cool the webcam is 1080p and this is an ir camera with windows hello support which works really well you also get present sensing features so the screen turns off when it senses you're not there it even dims the screen when you're not looking as for the webcam quality it's fairly good as far as laptop webcams go as for the software this comes with microsoft office home and student edition 2021 and you get the very useful my asus app which lets you customize almost everything there's also a new asus story cube app to organize and edit your media files better and in terms of connectivity this has wi-fi 7 support along with bluetooth 5.4 look to some things up the new asus zenbook s14 oled is a premium laptop in every single way and that is something you'd expect i mean this is a zenbook after all and this thing is packed be it in design display but the focus this time with the new lunar lake intel processor is on bringing great efficiency and this succeeds at that and this lasts longer than pretty much every intel based windows laptop i've ever tested and since it's x86 app compatibility is not an issue yes it's not a laptop aimed at intensive tasks that use multiple cores but other than that this should be a reliable option for anyone looking for a premium work laptop. Now as for the pricing, the ASUS ZenBook S14 OLED costs rupees 1.5 lakhs. So I want to know from you, what do you guys think of the new Lunar Lake chipset and the new ASUS ZenBook S14 OLED? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.